the maximum acceleration. So we take this car. So this has a mass and two thirds. Yeah, two thirds of the drive wheels, and that means here that's FG, that's FM, and then because like the wheels are pushing backwards, so friction pushes forwards. So that's F sub F. That's what's going to make us go. And then, so the sum of the forces in the X, of course, is going to be MA. That's going to be F sub F is equal to MA. The sum of the forces in the Y are equal to zero, right? So you get FN equals uh, FG. And then FN would be equal to two thirds MG, right? So then F sub F is equal to mu F sub N, which equals MA. So A is going to equal mu times 2 thirds mg over m. So the mass cancels. Um, so we get the acceleration is mu times 2 thirds of mg, which gives a g. Um, so the acceleration is what, 2 thirds of, uh, two -thirds of if I did 2 thirds of 10, it would be like 0.67. Let me see. Okay. Ten divided by three times nine point eight. So we get something like six point five three meters per second squared. All right. Then the question is, what is the speed at its maximum power output? So since we know that power. Power is equal to force times velocity. Um, then we can just say velocity is power over force. And if we know that this is the acceleration, that acceleration is over the whole car. So this is going to be power over MA. So the power is 217 times 746 divided by 1480. Uh, times 6.53. So I get something like 16.7 or 16.8 meters per second. Okay. And then the time accelerates how long? I'm assuming they mean accelerate from the rest. How long does it take until it reaches maximum power output? Um, well, we can, let's say, we can say from zero to this speed, right? So the equation that would probably serve us, serve us best here is to say Vf is equal to V0 plus AT. So T is equal to Vf minus V0 over A. So V0 is zero. We're assuming it started from rest. So that means 16.8 over 6.53, I believe. Yes. And 16.8. We get 2.57 seconds. 2.57 seconds. And there you go.